Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube. <laughs> It's Anya and welcome to Pinkoween. So I know it looked crazy because I decided to start the video with my brows already done and they're done pretty dark, but I've really been enjoying them a little bit darker and I think I might color my hair a little bit darker too, but that's neither here nor there. You are here to see me do a palette bingo with the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell Palette. So take it out of its case. I don't know where to put this. Um, this is what she looks like if you haven't seen it. I did do a first impressions in a midnight makeup with Debbie Knobloch. I will link it up here. But this is the outside. Looks like a book. This is the back of it. And this is the beautiful inside. So I wanted to do a palette bingo with this. I don't think I've ever done a palette bingo by myself. So here we go. <laughs> so I have my random number generator. And this palette has 15 shades. So I'm going to put in here 15 as the maximum number and hit generate. So the first number is number six. Okay, so already we're off to a neutral start because the sixth shade is called Winifred. And that is, wow, she's pigmented. Okay. My... I thought my shadow was off kilter, but no. Okay. And then number two is going to be shade number 13. And that would be Marnie, which Manny MUA just did a video with Marnie from Halloween Town. This is this shade. Okay. Not in my normal color story. The next shade is number three. It's going to be interesting because that is the shade Phoebe. <laughs> oh boy, this just got weird. Okay. And two more. Shade number four, which is shade Page. Oh boy. Okay. So, so far, interesting. And last but not least, shade number 10, which is called Kiki. So I only got one shimmer and it's pink. And this is the shade Kiki. Okay. <clears throat> so that's going to be interesting. Let me set this phone aside. Um, I'm at a loss for words, but we're gonna do so okay i think i'm gonna put the green on the lower lash line i think i've already figured that out all right i'm gonna use the lunar beauty brush today let me i'm gonna use concealer today because i actually want to see how these shades blend on top of something other than my normal eyeshadow primer because i know some people use concealer Primarily is eyeshadow primer. Sophie, what are you doing? Sophie's in here with me today. Well, usually they're in here with me, but she's tip tapping around. Tip tapping? Is that not? It was like a combination between tiptoeing and tap dancing. <laughs> tip tapping. She's tip tapping around. So you can hear her go clickety clack on the floor. But. Hi. <laughs> she's actually in an upcoming video that I just pre-filmed because I've gotten a few requests to see her so she will be in a very very not too distant I can't speak today video she's coming up she's coming up okay so I think we're gonna start with Winifred and we're going to go into the crease with Winifred. This is the brush that came with the Life's a Drag palette. And 
I really like it. I really like everything about the Life's a Drag palette. That would be another good video to do. A multi-palette bingo with my Lunar Beauty palettes because I own multiple palettes. Although this is not blending the shadow the way that I want it to. I think this one eyeshadow is sticking up a little bit. Shout out to Manny's dad who watched my first impression and commented on it. Thank you so much, Manny Sr. That was actually really amazing. I was blown away. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a different brush. And it definitely was him. So that was crazy, but awesome. Crazy, but awesome. And this is very pigmented. I did not expect it to be. I expected it to be more of like a transition-y shade, but it is way more pigmented than, than I thought. I mean, I should have known by my arm swatch, but I just thought that was because I swirled around in it. Let me know down below how many of you picked this up. My friend Heather from Heart of Heather, who I collabed with, um, or who I'm collabing with this week, you will see a video soon. I almost gave it away because I almost thought that this one was going to go up after that one. Um, now I'm going to go into the shade Kiki, but my friend Heather from Heart of Heather did a beautiful look with her Moonspell palette. It was her first impressions. I will link it up here in the cards so you guys can check it out. So you can see more than one review. Okay, so this is a different shade. It, um, on the eyes, I feel like Kiki and Winifred look similar enough that I didn't necessarily need both. I mean, Kiki is definitely darker, but, hmm. Yeah, no, I guess I noticed the difference. I don't know. I feel like maybe a bigger difference would have been better. And this shade kind of just wants to go where you place it and not really, like, move around much. But still very pigmented. Okay. I'm going to take a, actually I'm going to take this brush. I know it's a highlighter brush, but this is for you, Debbie. <laughs> I'm taking this brush and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that out. <laughs> oh, I'm being silly today. Okay. Actually, this one needs a little more buffing. I don't know who I've turned into that I'm like buffing out the edges of my shadows. Normally I like everything very structured and like, you know what I mean? Okay. So I got to do something with Paige. Oh, I forgot about Paige. Okay. We're going to go into the same brush. We're going to go into Paige. We're doing brown and pink. This is going to be a weird look. That's okay. That's what palette bingos are for, right? All right. I mean, pink and chocolate were my wedding colors, so not necessarily this shade of pink or this shade of chocolate, but all right. And now I'm going to go in with Phoebe and I'm going to use that on my finger. I feel like this shade is kind of like a cream almost. That's what it kind of feels like. I don't know. And I feel like... I mean, I know I could get it to work on a brush, but it just goes better and quicker with my finger. Hmm. It actually doesn't look so bad. Like, the brown and the pink together. I mean, I never in a million years would have chosen this color combination, but it still looks cute. All right. 
interesting. Let me go off camera, do my base, and I will be right back to finish up the rest of the colors on my eyes. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. So I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in the shade Freak, which is a beautiful lime green. And I'm going to put the green shade from the Manny palette on top of that. So I'm just going to grab this. So that was the shade Marnie. So we used this one, this one, this one, this one on the top. And I actually do really like it a lot more now that the rest of my makeup is done. Let me know what you think. But I think it's an interesting color story that I would not have chosen in a million years for myself like these colors together but i really do like them now that they are done the one thing that i wish that this palette had is an inner like more inner corner highlights or like a few more lighter shades because the only inner corner highlight is that duochrome pink purpley shade and that's not the only look you're going to do with this palette. You know what I mean? Like the, the Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay, that one has three different highlight options, a mint green, a blue, and then the purpley pink. So, um, that's my only critique, I guess. Other than that, I absolutely love this palette. I love all the Lunar Beauty palettes that I've bought. So I'm going into my highlight today, which is the Better Lace Beauty Candy Corn uh, colored highlighter which is called toothache and I'm just gonna use that for my inner corner highlight and that is like I said what I used on my face as well that's a little bright clean off the brush and kind of blend that out okay and I used I already put mascara on my top lashes I just need to put it on my bottom lashes always get powder in my hairline okay and for my blush I use my NYX ombre blush that I've been using and for my bronzer I use my gingerbread bronzer and foundation is my L'Oreal oh my gosh this is a mess how did that happen I got it like all over the side of it the L'Oreal infallible fresh wear last time I was using it it kind of broke me out a little bit and I feel like lately I've been using it again and it seems to be doing really really well so fingers crossed okay I'm gonna use this mascara on my lower lash line and then we're gonna go in with a lip color so for my lip color I'm gonna do a vampy shade I'm not going to use one of the Manny ones because um, I have a three looks one palette that I did that will be coming up next week, banning next week, I think. Um, and I used a different lip shade in each one. So I'm going in with the shade Mirana, and it is from the Urban Decay um, Alice in Wonderland collection. And it is like a deep, vampy, purpley shade. I'm just going to clean off the top of this. I always clean off the top of my lipsticks just in case. And I'm going to use the Spice lip liner just as a guide, not because it's going to match. Only because darker lipsticks, especially bullet lipsticks, always look like a mess on me if I don't do this first so I mean this could look really pretty with like a nude lip as well but I want to do something different and this is gonna go in my box so the lipstick challenge and giveaway that I'm doing with Debbie will be linked below if you haven't entered make sure you enter because you never know when we're gonna hit the end of our lipsticks and if you're not entered beforehand, then you won't be entered. And something that I wanted to mention um, that is important, uh, which I'm kind of just mentioning on a whim, but 
you either need to be 18 or older to enter or we need your parents permission because we can't just you know get your address if you're under 18 and all that so i keep wanting to mention that and i keep forgetting too but okay so this is this lipstick i like the way it looks i don't necessarily think it's my favorite for this look though so it will still go in the box but i am gonna switch it out just because i'm gonna be wearing this look today and i don't want to wear this lip color all day I feel like it's going to bleed and I feel like it's just I don't know I don't really know what I don't like about it I just know I don't like it all right maybe I will I'll put on the mani gloss now that I still tried on the lipstick and it still counts as going into the box I'll try the mani uh, lip gloss or I'll use the mani lip gloss oh, this smells so good Ooh. I love this gloss so much. This gloss might be my favorite because it reminds me of the Jeffree Star Ice Cold one, the way it looks, but it feels more comfortable. Like it has zero stickiness whatsoever. It feels like you have on a lip mask. That's what it feels like. So I actually like this much better. It'll be more comfortable for the day. And like if I want to reapply, I can. If I don't want to, I don't have to. So this is my palette bingo with the Moonspell palette. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is the color story again. Um, I really like it. I like the way it turned out. When I saw this color story, I was worried, not going to lie. But that's what I love about Palette Bingo is that it gives you options that you would never have thought of before yourself. So I definitely never would have come up with this look on my own with this palette. So I'm really, really happy that I decided to do this today and definitely look forward to more looks with this palette because like I said, I do have a three looks one palette coming up and each look will have a different lip color option. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.